All right, man. So I guess they announced the uh, the headliner for the Super Bowl halftime show. Headliner, you know what I mean? And uh, it's going to be in New Orleans, which I just found this out. I was wondering what the fuss was about, you know what I mean? So it's going to be in New Orleans. New Orleans going to host, I guess, whatever dome that is. But, uh, and they got Kens Lamar. Now, um, I understand why they did that. Because, you know, you want to drive as much attention to the Super Bowl as possible. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick Lamar has a hot song at the moment. You feel what I'm saying? Way hotter than any recent Lil Wayne song. And Lil Wayne management said something about, you know, whatever, 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 that they thought they was going to get it or they should have got it. But you can, we're not looking at this thing as far as, like, locally. You know, this is not just a regular pop-up concert. You feel me? This is the biggest event in the world. One of the biggest events in the world. You get what I'm saying? So you have a big song that's passed up everybody worldwide. You get what I'm saying? Not worldwide, but you, 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 you get what I'm saying? Like, it's a big, big song. So it's not a local event. Now, uh, I understand where they're coming from as far as it's in New Orleans you know what I mean? But if New Orleans don't make it to the Super Bowl, the Saints don't make it to the Super Bowl, you get what I'm saying? And the New Orleans and the South people don't buy up all the tickets, then it's pointless to have Lil Wayne there. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that Lil Wayne ain't got a global reach. Lil Wayne name ain't ringing bells in 2024, 20, and, uh, and going to be in spring 2025 for what they're trying to do. So, you know, I get what they're saying, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I think that was the right decision. If, if, if I'm in it for the money, if I'm in it for the attention, if I'm in it for everything that can possibly maximize this event, you know, I wouldn't have got I wouldn't have got Lil Wayne either because I'm not going to be just thinking about a New Orleans crowd. I'm going to be thinking about the whole United States crowd. You get what I'm saying? And I believe that that song is bigger than what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand some people are going to say, and these are facts, what are you going to perform? I mean, he got like two songs. You know, so I'm just, let's just be honest with you, bro. I can't name not one other song that Kendrick Lamar got. You know what I mean? And I just think that that song is so big, it's overriding all the songs that he had. You know what I mean? But I say, you, the times change, you know what I mean? Uh, and the players change. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, just, it's just his time right now as far as this small little section. Now, I ain't heard nothing from him since. I ain't heard nothing from him before. I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar, and who knows if we hear anything after. You know what I mean? But I think it's the right decision. You know what I mean? What y'all think? Do y'all think that they should have had somebody else? Do y'all think they should have had, you know, a New Orleans type of artist? You know what I'm saying? Louisiana artist, Lil Wayne, something like that. You know, I just think that they're looking bigger, you know what I'm saying, for the bigger market that's going to actually buy the seat, that's going to actually view the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, the reach that they're trying to get. So I think they, they're going bigger than that. And uh, did they make the right decision? I mean, I think he got the biggest song of the year right now, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, I think they did. What y'all think? Y'all let me know.